Hi, warriors. I'm Jen. Welcome to Be Set Free. So, as we know, when we've been in abuse, um, it's an important it's an important step to ask ourselves why did we stay, um, and to figure that out. But I wanted to talk to you tonight about being sure that um, we don't blame ourselves, right? Being sure that we don't um, say that, well, we stayed so we deserved it, okay? Because you never once ever deserve to be treated, manipulated, um, brainwashed, abused, physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually, financially, ever. You never deserve that. Just because you stay doesn't mean that you deserve that, okay? And there, there's people out there that will say, well, you stayed. What are you whining about? I never, ever, 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 ever want anybody to believe that. <laughs> Okay, you have every right to be hurt, upset, devastated. You have every right for however long the process takes for you to heal. You have every right to share your story and to talk about it as much as you need to. Okay, and if there's somebody who doesn't like it, who tells you, you know what, why don't you just get over it already? who says, well, I broke up with my my husband or my wife too, and geez, you know, that was after you did. And I'm already over it. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about it anymore. I'm already moved on to my next relationship. Like, you just need to get over it. Please don't listen to them. Please don't. We cannot compare a grieving process. We can't compare and contrast a healing process. We are all unique individuals. We all have different stories, even if they seem, seem similar. The way it affected each of us is so different, okay? Um, some people think that they've healed from their pain, they've healed from their relationship, they've healed from their abuse, and they think they've moved on. And maybe they're in a new relationship and it seems like, wow, they're all better and I'm not. Well, I hope that's true for them. But in my experience, um, they'll find more healing. <laughs> they'll find more healing they need to do. Um, you know, I, I was at that place at one point a few years ago. I thought, wow, you know, I've really healed. I'm done with this. I'm so glad that marriage is over. Um, I definitely processed a lot of pain before I left. And once I left, I figured I was ready to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that I would have been one of those people at that time that said, yeah, I'm, I've healed. I wouldn't compare my healing to anybody else's, goodness gracious, no, or expect anybody to be where I was at emotionally. But my point is, is that I at one point thought I had finished healing as well. And wow, I found another narcissist, a whole different kind. So guys, or I shouldn't say another narcissist, this person was not diagnosed, but we know we know. <laughs> when we've been in relationship with them, we know, right? So I say another narcissist. And I did. I found another one. And then I found it was a blessing, though, because I found I had a lot. Um, I was still naive in ways I didn't understand, but then I did. Whew, big wake up call. And I found uh, all the other parts I needed to heal. Right, and because of that <clears throat> blessing, I mean, it sucked, but it was a it was a blessing in the long run, right? Because God promises He never lets anything happen to us that is not going to be according to His good purpose and plan for our life, for those who are walking according to His will. And um, 
<clears throat> he used the evil for good. He did. And, you know, he's doing it for you too. All right. Um, I just want to be sure that you feel you have the space to be you, whatever that looks like. You have the space. I want you to understand that there is space for you in this world to heal. And whatever that looks like is unique to you. And it shouldn't look like anybody else's journey, okay? Only yours, all right? It's very hurtful when we hear people say, um, like people who have a voice um, in this field, <clears throat> people who don't have a voice in this field but maybe are celebrities in some way or another and then all of a sudden they speak up in this field and say say you know stuff like people that have authority right <clears throat> people who have who other people look up to it's very very dangerous and hurtful to hear them suddenly say you know the victims of narcissistic abuse well, it's their fault they stayed. Guess what? <laughs> we wouldn't have stayed if we fully understood what was happening. We would have never gotten in a relationship like that if we were full, whole, healthy people. But we thought we were. We didn't know, okay? Um, and that is not to blame anybody. That it just makes me so angry. Um, have you heard this before? Have you heard this? Um, you know, and then it makes me think of how, how I was such a devoted Christian wife just trying to please the Lord. And maybe you're that way too. Maybe you're um, a wife or you were or a husband or you were. And your vows meant something to you. When you got married to you, it was in the Lord. You know, it wasn't really because when you marry somebody who's led by evil, you're not getting married in the Lord. But to you, you were. And to just break those vows and, and, and then it feels like you're giving up on somebody who has something wrong with them and maybe you can help them and to just walk away, you know, that means we deserved it? No. It's a bunch of crap. Don't listen to people like that. I think of how I stayed. <clears throat> I stayed and stayed and stayed because I was afraid for my kids' safety. Does that mean I deserved it? I deserve the abuse? Does that mean you do because you're staying for your children's safety? You, you're terrified for them if they're left alone at visitation because you know if, if you leave, they're going to get visitation. They're going to use those kids as a pawn, they're going to use those kids to get to you and they're not going to take care of them and they're going to be terrifying while they're with them and they're going to be in danger. Does that mean you deserve the abuse? You deserved it because you're staying or you stayed? No. No, it doesn't. Okay? Does it mean that you deserved the abuse because you were fully 100% financially reliant on them for the couple extra dollars they would give you if they even would because you had no access to the money and you you were so in it with little children or just so in it being financially destitute you couldn't get away and just because you couldn't figure it out that means that you deserve the abuse no that it's baloney don't please 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 and I'm talking to myself too. Do not listen to people who say this. That, that is not from God, okay? That is not from God. And, you know, we can use situations when people say stuff like that, either directly to us or we hear them saying it on YouTube or their little platform they have. We can use that to build up some righteous, righteous anger inside of ourselves and to actually validate ourselves instead of going, you know what, they're right. I'm an idiot. I should have never stayed. That is totally my fault. I stayed. Don't do that. That is not helpful and it's not even the whole truth. <laughs> you have to ignore a whole bunch of other truth. 
uh, that I just stated all those reasons to believe that nonsense some people say. So <clears throat> I hope this encourages you. Um, I've been wearing a mask all day. Sorry, I am <clears throat> clearing my throat, but those um, <clears throat> breath restrictive, breathing restrictive devices just <clears throat> cause me to not be able to breathe so well. Um, so thanks for bearing with me through that. And uh, feel free to reach out to me, be set free from abuse at gmail.com. And to share your story in the comments. And uh, just please be gentle with yourself and know that you did what you had to do. You're doing what you have to do. You're on the good path. You're here learning. It's, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. And it is not your fault. You do not deserve ever to be abused no matter what. Love ya.